I think this is gorgeous for spring and summer and I just think that it looks so good with a pop of colour on the lips and also the goldy bronze smoky eye as well. And for this whole eyeshadow look I used my Morphe 35k palette. This is a new palette to me and I think this is incredible and there's so many different colours and there's warm tones and also cool tones so you can create loads of different looks. So I think this is going to look gorgeous on every single skin tone. You have the bold lips and also the shimmery eyes and I think this would be really good for special occasions as well. So if you want to see how I created this look then just keep watching. When I do my makeup the first thing that I always do is prime my skin and the first primer that I'm using is a Benefit Pore Professional. I'm just going to be popping this on all of the areas where I get really large pores so on my nose and also my cheeks. I'm patting this in because I want to make sure that they're completely filled. Another primer that I'm using is a Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer and this is amazing for oily skin. I did have this in my April Favourites video which I'll link down below and this is literally incredible if you have oily skin. It keeps your oils at bay for a very very long time and it's just amazing. So I'm going to put this where I'm super oily so on my forehead and then also around the sides of my nose as well and then on my chin. And then I'm going to put the rest of the product on the side of my face right here because this is where my foundation tends to come off right around here. Next I'm doing my eyebrows and I'm taking my NYX Tone & Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in the shade Espresso and the Modico More Brows in the shade Medium Dark. So I'm basically just going to follow where my eyebrows are and just make them a little bit thicker as well. So I always do the line at the top first and work it round. And to create a little bit more shape with my eyebrows, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just going to go on the outline of my eyebrows just to make sure that they're a little bit more tamed and there's a little bit more shape to them as well. To prime my lids, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just going to pop this on the inner corner and all over the lid. For my transition shade, I'm taking this shade right here. And for all over the lid, I'm taking this shade right here, which is a shimmery gold colour. I'm using a tapered blending brush just to buff out the transition shade. Taking the same blending brush and I'm just going to buff this out as well. And I'm going back in with the same gold shade and I'm just going to be popping this over the lid again just to make it a little bit more intense. And then to add a little bit more bronze to the look I'm going in with this shade right here. And I'm just going to pop this in the outer V. I'm going in with this cream shade right here. And to clean up my eyeshadow, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again. And I'm just going to take this from the outer corner of my eye and then I'm going to put it to the outside of my eyebrow. the eyeliner and to tighten on my eyes I'm taking my Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner in the shade Raven and I'm just going to tighten on my upper waterline and a little bit of the lower waterline just on the outer two thirds. Then I'm taking my collection 24 hour felt liner and I'm just going to create a really nice winged eyeliner look with this. I'm 
taking my Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. I love this mascara. It's my Holy Grail Drugstore Mascara and it's just really, really good and it makes your eyelashes look super long and super full as well. And for lashes, I'm taking my Girls With Attitude Carnaby Lashes. I'm moving on to the rest of the face and for this I'm using my EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation in F200 and then I'm going to mix this with a drop of the Body Shop Shade Adjusting Drops in the Lightning Ones. So I'm just popping one pump on my hand and then I'm going to add one drop of the Lightning Drops. And to apply this foundation I'm taking my Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki. I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again and I'm going to pop this on the underneath my eyes in a triangle motion and then I'm popping it down the bridge of my nose as well. I'm then setting this concealer using this banana shade from Makeup Revolution Contour Palette and I'm just going to take this on my Real Techniques Contour Brush I'm just going to pop this under my eyes and also on the bridge of my nose. And to contour, I'm taking this shade right here out of the palette and I'm taking this Luxie Large Angled Brush as well. And to contour down the sides of my nose, I'm taking this Jessup Large Fluff Brush. And then I'm buffing all of the harsh lines out using a Duo 5 brush. And then to finish off my eyes, I'm going to go on my lower lash line with this shade right here, which was one of the shades that we used on Outer V. And then I'm going back in with the same gold shade and I'm just going to put this on the inner corner. And then for blush, I'm taking this EX1 blush in the shade Pretty and Peach. I'm then taking my Mary Luminizer by the Balm and I'm going to use this to highlight. So I'm going to highlight on the tops of my cheeks for this. And I'm going to highlight down the bridge of my nose as well. But I only need a little bit there on my top lip. And then I'm going to put this on in the corner of my eyes. And also on my brow bone as well. And the last thing to do with the lips, and for this I'm using my Kylie Lip Kit in the shade Posey K. I love this shade, it's a gorgeous mauve shade and it goes really well with the eyes as well. makeup look i hope that you enjoyed this video and make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video guys bye